Hello students. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to find the angle of intersection of two curves C and C dash whose equations are given in polar coordinates. Now here, this diagram represents the intersection of two curves. For example, if the first curve is C1, so this is the first curve and the second curve C2 is represented here. Now, in this pro problem, uh, we are going to learn how to find the angle between these two curves. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to consider phi 1 to be the angle between the radius vector and the tangent of the curve C1. Now, where is the curve C1? It is here. So, this is the curve C1. Now, for this curve, T1 is the tangent and this is the radius vector. The angle between the tangent and the radius vector we are representing as phi 1 for the curve C1. And phi 2 represents the angle between the radius vector and the tangent of the curve C2. Now if you see here, this is curve C2. We have the curve C2 here and the tangent for this curve is here and the radius vector is here. So this angle is phi 2. So this complete angle we have taken as phi 2 and this angle is phi 1. Now we have to find the angle of intersection of the curves which will be evaluated by this. That is the angle of intersection of two curves C1 and C2s. If suppose we are representing it by xi, it will be equal to the difference of those two angles. Whichever is the higher angle that we have to write first and we have to subtract the lower angle from that in order to avoid the negative angles. But anyway, that will be the angle between those two curves. Now here if you see we have the angle phi 2 and here we have the angle phi 1 and the difference of these two angles will give us the angle of intersection of the curve C1 and C2. Now we shall learn this with the help of an example problem. Now here we have a problem in which they are asking us to find the angle of intersection of the cardioids. So here the first curve C1 is given and the curve C2 is given and now we have to find the angle of intersection of these two curves for which we have to use this formula. So what we have to do? We have to first evaluate xi equal to phi 1 negative phi 2. And from that, this xi will give us the angle between these two curves. Now to evaluate phi 1, we have to uh, consider this curve C1 first. And to evaluate phi 2, we have to consider the curve C2. So let us do it now. Now first we shall consider the curve C1 that is what is the curve C1 it is R equal to A multiplied with 1 plus cos theta. So R will be equal to multiplying this A inside we will be getting A plus A cos theta in order to make the differentiation a little more easier. Now we have to differentiate both the sides with respect to theta. So when we do so, what is the differentiation of r with respect to theta? We will obtain dr by d theta. So this will be dr by d theta. And that is equal to the differentiation of the constant a is 0. Plus, now this is a constant which is in multiplication. So it will come as such. And the differentiation for cos theta is negative sin theta. And hence dr by d theta is equal to negative a sin theta. So now in the formula we will be requiring d theta by dr. So we will rewrite it as d theta by dr which is equal to negative 1 by a sin theta. So this is what we have now. Now from we have to use the formula for angle between the radius vector and the tangent of the curve. Now uh, this formula we learnt in our previous problems where tan phi was equal to r multiplied with d theta by dr. Now because we are dealing with first curve we can have this as phi 1. So tan phi 1 is equal to r multiplied with d theta by dr. So now what is uh, this? This is equal to r multiplied with 
what is d theta by dr we have evaluated here so we will substitute that so negative divided by so this negative sign and then d theta by dr we have evaluated and we are having a sin theta so we will just substitute it here but what is r as per the given question r is equal to that is the first curve which is a multiplied with 1 plus cos theta so we will make that substitution here so that's equal to negative a multiplied with 1 plus cos theta divided by a sin theta so this will be a sin theta now if you see this a and this a will get cancelled and this problem has to be proceeded further by using the trigonometric formulas so let us do it so now if you see here tan phi 1 is equal to 1 plus cos theta by sin theta now as per the trigonometric formula 1 plus cos theta is equal to 2 cos squared theta by 2 and also sin theta can be written as 2 sin theta by 2 and cos theta by 2. Now we are going to use these two trigonometric identities in our problem. So when we do so what we will get is tan phi 1 will be equal to what is 1 plus cos theta it is 2 cos squared theta by 2. So let's substitute it here. So 2 cos squared theta by 2 divided by what is sin theta? Sin theta is 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. So we will substitute that also here. So we will be having here. Now we can see that this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled. And cos squared theta by 2 we have in the numerator and in the denominator we have cos theta by 2. So we can cancel one of the cos theta by 2. And so we will be left with cos theta by 2 divided by sin theta by 2 now as per the trigonometric formula what do we know it is actually equal to cot theta by 2 and very importantly i have forgot to take this negative sign which was there in the previous step so this is actually 1 plus cos theta divided by negative sin theta and so we will have that negative sign throughout and so because of that here also we will be having negative cot theta by 2. So tan phi 1 is equal to negative cot theta by 2. Now we have to write this in terms of tan. So we know that as per the trigonometric identity tan of 90 degrees plus any angle will be equal to negative cot of that angle. Now here in order to have it in terms of pi this 90 can be written as pi by 2 because we know that pi by 2 is equals to 90 degrees. So this can be written as tan pi by 2 plus now here the angle A is this theta by 2. Okay so theta by 2 will be equal to negative cot theta by 2. So this is the formula that we are going to use now. So tan of 90 plus theta by 2 is equal to negative cot theta by 2. Now here at the place of negative cot theta by 2 we are going to replace it by tan pi by 2 plus theta by 2. So therefore now after replacement this will become tan phi 1 to be equal to now instead of negative cot theta by 2 so we will replace it by this so it will be tan pi by 2 plus theta by 2 now when we see when we take tan inverse on both sides it will become phi 1 to be equal to pi by 2 plus theta by 2 so because the angles they are equal okay so phi 1 we have obtained to be pi by 2 plus theta by 2 so let us have this as such and we will evaluate the angle phi 2 now to evaluate phi 2 we should consider the curve 2 so what is curve 2? It is r is equal to b multiplied with 1 minus cos theta. We have to adopt the same procedure as we did for curve 1. So this can be rewritten as by multiplying this b negative b cos theta. Now differentiating on both the sides with respect to theta we obtain dr by d theta to be equal to differentiation of the constant b is 0 negative. Now differentiation for this. 
so b is in multiplication so it will come as which and the differentiation of cos theta is negative sin theta and so from this we obtain dr by d theta to be equal to this negative signs gets multiplied and becomes positive and this will be b sin theta but actually what do we need d theta by dr and so that is equal to the reciprocal of this which is 1 by b sin theta now we have to substitute in the formula so tan phi 2 and that will be equal to r multiplied with d theta by dr so that is equal to r multiplied with what is d theta by dr it is 1 by b sin theta now we have to substitute the value of r what is value of r r is equal to b multiplied with 1 minus cos theta so this when we substitute we will have b multiplied with 1 minus cos theta divided by b sin theta now this uh, b and b will get cancelled and we will be left out with 1 minus cos theta by sin theta with which we have to proceed further. So if you see here we have obtained tan phi 2 to be 1 minus cos theta by sin theta. So now we will be using these two trigonometric identities here. 1 minus cos theta is 2 sin square theta by 2 and sin theta can be written as 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. So let us use these two formulas here. So what will be tan phi 2 then? So tan phi 2 will be equal to the numerator is 1 minus cos theta. So instead of that we are going to write 2 sin square theta by 2 divided by and in the denominator 2 sin theta by 2 multiplied with cos theta by 2. Now this 2 and 2 gets cancelled and one of the sign gets cancelled and we are left out with sin theta by 2 divided by cos theta by 2. So therefore tan phi, by phi 2 will be equal to what is sin by cos it is tan. So tan theta by 2. So from this we obtain phi 2 to be equal to theta by 2. So these two angles are equal. So phi 2 is equal to theta by 2. So we have obtained phi 1 to be equal to pi by 2 plus theta by 2 and phi 2 is theta by 2. Now we can easily find the angle xi which is the angle between the two curves. Therefore the angle of intersection of the cardioids is equal to xi which is equal to the difference between phi 1 and phi 2 and so that is equal to what is phi 1 evaluated it is pi by 2 plus theta by 2 and phi 2 that we have evaluated is theta by 2. So uh, phi 1 minus phi 2 is so a minus negative theta by 2. So now what will happen? This is positive theta by 2 and this is negative theta by 2. So these two will get cancelled. And so therefore the angle of intersection of the cardioids xi is equal to pi by 2. So this is the required answer. Hope you have understood this problem. Thank you.